Some people just never know when to quit. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Why Won't You Die movie scenes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at big screen scenes where a character takes what would normally be a lethal hit, fall, or slice, and just keeps ticking. Use the bazooka! We're basing our choices not only on how hard they're hit, but also the shock and anger of their adversaries. Since some of these scenes involve a final battle, a spoiler alert is in order. Why? Why can't I kill you? Number 10, Bullet Sponge, Snatch. What about Tony? You know, Bullet Tooth Tony. Who's Bullet Tooth Tony? Ever wonder where a gangster got his tough nickname? Guy Ritchie wastes no time on this quandary with his colorful introduction to bounty hunter Bullet Tooth Tony. When two mob bosses try to catch diamond thief Frankie Fourfingers, an assistant suggests Tony and how exactly he qualifies. He got shot six times and the bullets molded in gold. The scene stylishly mashes their description of Tony with a flashback of him taking six bullets before flipping the tables on his exasperated and terrified would-be murderer, all set to Tony's favorite Madonna song. Oh, I love this track. The scene hilariously sets up Tony as serious business and explains that Tony had two of the bullets molded into his teeth to earn his tough but accurate moniker. Why do they call him the Bullet Dodger? Because he does his bullets heavy. Number 9. I Tried Everything. Die Hard. John. Some villains do inhuman things, while other villains are just inhuman. After going on a rampage seeking revenge on John McClane, Carl wouldn't even let death stop him. We are both professionals. After redirecting a gun to the face, McClane tries punching him mercilessly, crane kicking him, and throwing him into just about any surface he can manage. After taking a bullet to the shoulder, McClane decides enough is enough and tries hanging Carl by a chain. This seems to do the trick, until Carl makes a surprise return in the movie's finale. Rising like a bloodied zombie with his gun in hand, Carl tries one last time to end McClane before Sergeant Powell shoots him down to finally stop him. Number 8. Jesus Christ Walks Into a Hotel The Crow Come here, baby. Okay, stop us if you've heard this one. After walking in on Funboy and Darla, and with guitar in tow, Eric Draven, aka The Crow, scares Funboy to shoot him in the hand. When Funboy thinks he has Eric, he turns and shows his healing hand to Funboy's appropriate religious comparison. It's no laughing matter for Funboy to be shooting Draven repeatedly while he stumbles his way through a joke. Jesus Christ walks into a hotel. <laughs> Ow. Clearly missing the humor, he asks a very pressing question right before Draven finishes his joke and makes Funboy shoot himself in the leg and mess up his bed. Don't you ever f***ing die? You put me up for the night? Number 7. Road Overkill. Me, myself, and Irene. Those damn truckers. It's not always easy doing Mother Nature's work, but sometimes it's definitely harder than others. After Charlie and Irene find what they think is a dead cow on the side of the road, they go to move her before discovering she's not quite what they thought she was. Ah! Jeez! Oh! Ah! Okay, you just... Oh, it's still alive. Just... Looking to put her out of her misery, Charlie takes out his service weapon and shoots the animal in the head. Again. And again. When that doesn't work, he tries pistol whipping and choking the cow, with some helpful kicks from Irene, before the beast finally moves on. Or so they think. Well, that was tough. But... At the end of the movie, we're actually shown the cow with just a few bandages to show for her suffering. Number 6. I'ma die now, probably. Pineapple Express. I'ma die now, probably! Red was definitely a good name for this movie's most colorful character. After asking his captors to take their shoes off in his house, Red takes things too far when he insults Matheson's choice of footwear, which results in him getting shot. Matheson, you got British knights on. I ain't seen anybody wear them since 1987. No! His captors start fighting over discretion, or lack thereof, before Red wakes up to complain about where he was shot. You shot me in my stomach! Red seems more annoyed than concerned for his life, as he shames his captors for shooting him after he had them over for dinner, and then he gets shot again. 
Red's lack of concern is warranted, however, as he miraculously returns to defeat one of the gangsters at the end of the film. You just got killed by a Daewoo Lanos, mother Number 5. Serial Killer vs. Mass Murder Freddy vs. Jason It's time to put this bad dog to sleep. For good! Murdering killers can be quite the nightmare, even when it's one of your own creations. Frustrated that he's losing all his kills to Jason, the elusive Freddy decides to fight for he's in his sleep. But when you're both as invincible as Michael Myers, your fight is bound to take a while. Just when it looks like Jason is off to a good start, Freddy grows his arms back and goes on the attack. <laughs> Kruger tries impaling Jason with his own machete and even playing a game of pinball with him. After dropping a whole boiler on him, Freddy can't believe his eyes when Jason bounces back, with even enough fight for the rest of the movie. Why won't you die? <laughs> Number 4. Human Shield Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me Tell me, Mr. Powers, do you swing? Are you kidding, baby? While both Dr. Evil and Austin Powers have trouble finishing off Mustafa, Austin read this goon through her lying eyes. When Robin Swallows invites Austin to dance, he can't help but take her up on it. But he quickly realizes she's setting him up and uses her as a shield. When the knife hits her instead, the henchman steps it up and tries the machine gun on Powers. Austin thinks quickly and uses Swallows again, which doesn't seem to kill her either. When they try the bazooka, blocking the shot isn't enough as Austin and Robin fly out the window and leave gravity to finish the job. Thanks to some quick repositioning, Swallows breaks Austin's fall as well as his composure as she manages to survive and threaten him once again. You can't win, Powers. Why won't you die? Number 3. Losing Your Touch, A Fistful of Dollars Let the old man down. Sometimes, it's better to put in the effort and just aim for the head. In this final showdown, the man with no name goes solo against a whole gang of bandits, but he's got an ace up his sleeve. Or poncho in this case. What's wrong, Ramon? You losing your touch? After taking multiple shots to the chest while taunting a growingly concerned Ramon, the stranger gets up again as his assailant realizes he's out of shots. That's when Clint Eastwood reveals his makeshift bulletproof vest, which results in one of the most powerful reactions in cinema history. Shaking in their boots, the bandits are wiped out by our nameless hero's fast hand, with one bullet left to free the poor old innkeeper. Number 2. Ideas are bulletproof. V for Vendetta. Why won't you die? You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Unless, of course, the defense you're bringing is the best one of all. Ideas. In his final mission to take down the establishment, V runs into Creedy and his legion of men, which doesn't seem to stop his next ominous monologue. Taking countless bullets, V drops to his knees before jumping into action and takes down every single guard to fulfill his dark prophecy. As Creedy frustratingly fails to shoot down the seemingly unkillable V, he learns the Freedom Fighter's secret. Ideas are bulletproof. But even with the best ideas, it's still best to come prepared, and V's body armor is ultimately revealed to have played a part in his seemingly immortal rampage. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. My God, do we really suck? Or is this guy really that good? Look, you stupid bastard, you've got no arms left. Yes, I have. Look, just a flesh wound. Don't you people ever die? Number one, Hasta La Vista, maybe? Terminator 2, Judgment Day. We don't have much time. Though. 
After the first Terminator movie, it'd be safe to assume explosions aren't going to stop these killing machines, but it's always worth a try. In their final fight with the T-1000, our heroes turn its liquid strength against it by freezing it with liquid nitrogen. When it seems to be completely solid, Arnie pulls out his gun and finishes him off with one of his classic one-liners. Or so he thinks. Hasta la vista, baby. After shattering into a thousand pieces, the android shows its true power by regenerating, slowly pulling itself together from tiny droplets. John Connor can only watch in terror as the T-1000 grows until it's back in uniform and ready for another round. Hurry! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.